Well, hello, everybody, and uh, thank you for joining us for uh, this uh, live session, this webinar. And we have decided, basically, on the spur of the moment, to broadcast this in a, in a few places. So, so we've got this webinar uh, on. If you are uh, here on the Zoom webinar, we thank you for joining us. And uh, if you are joining us on Facebook, YouTube, uh, or uh, LinkedIn, uh, we thank you for taking the time to be here. And the purpose of this conversation today is to basically say a little bit more about what On the Court is all about. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, this is going to be a conversation. So there's not a big presentation uh, going on here. Uh, we are going to just kind of go over a few characteristics of what uh, On the Court leadership is all about and, and then answer any questions that you might have. So I'll be kind of keeping an eye on uh, any questions that anybody might have and, and we'll address as many of those as we possibly can. Um, so, so let's talk a little bit about what On the Court is all about and how it came to be. Uh, I remember one of my clients uh, a couple of years ago, in fact, uh, I did a, a talk for them and then they, uh, they said, hey, that was really great. I think I uh, spoke for like 50 people or so. And then they said, look, we've got people in multiple locations and we really would like them to also have the benefit of, of what, what we just talked about. Uh, and, and so can you do a presentation for them? And I said, well, yeah, sure, why not? And then subsequently we scheduled um, uh, some uh, uh, kind of a road show, if you will, and went to different locations and had those talks. And then what, what happened was they, they said, okay, so now we've got 1,600 other people. What do we do with them? And so we sat down and we basically uh, put together a, uh, a process for a, a book study with the transformative leader and a few other things that we could do to uh, help them spread the message. Uh, but at the same time, what, what really uh, showed up as well was that you know, it would be really great if we had a some sort of a platform uh, to keep the conversation alive. So over the years, we've done a lot of different things to make sure that while people are walking away from the session, uh, whether it's a workshop or a keynote, really energized and seeing something for themselves, that they actually have something that they can grab onto, some way to keep the conversation alive. So the idea started there, and um, so we started, that was a couple of years back, but we started uh, several months ago actually uh, putting this together. And uh, obviously right now with the pandemic and people working from home and working on flexible schedules and things like that, uh, this became even more relevant. Uh, so, so we're really excited uh, to bring on the court uh, to not just our clients, but many others who may not have the, the time or the budget to, to bring me in in person or, or virtually as we do these days. And, and so on the court serves a lot of different pur purposes. One is to keep the conversation alive for those people who've been exposed to some of my uh, teaching and some of my content. And the other is to uh, make sure that if somebody is looking for an alternative way, perhaps a, a way to do this with less money invested, um, or they want to give their people some uh, opportunity to kind of study on their own, this is the opportunity uh, to, to make that happen. So, uh, so the way on the court uh, works is that you, uh, essentially you join us, uh, and, and in a moment, Nassim is going to uh, take us through a kind of a tour of what it's gonna, what it's like. But let me just kind of paint the overall picture of what it's like, what it's about. And then Nassim's gonna take us through a kind of the nuts and bolts of it, and we'll show on on the screen uh, how your experience would be. Uh, but essentially, when you join on the court, and, and I have to say also that I've been having so much fun. I mean, this morning. I had a, an exhilarating experience with engaging with several members. They're sending messages, declaring some things for the week and all of this kind of stuff. So um, I'm still kind of uh, energized by that. But the way, it, the way it works is you come in and you, uh, you, you go through kind of a process that we've laid out for you to determine uh, at what level you should join us on the court. And when you do that, 
then we have some material, some content ready for you at, at that point. And then we basically share an abundance of material, uh, you know, content on, uh, you know, group coaching or live sessions on a weekly basis. And aside from that, we engage with our, uh, uh, you know, community and people ask questions and they say, hey, it would be really great if we could talk about this or we could do that. Then I'm constantly engaging with the community, bringing things in, but also the community itself, the, the members, uh, they bring a lot of content and questions and inquiries and encouragement and all of that in. So this is so important because to me, my experience with leadership development is that it's not about just dipping people into some information or some knowledge or give them some, giving them some tools. It's about keeping them engaged because you want to try to go out there and try some things that you learned and you want to do it in a safe space where you can come back and talk to somebody uh, who may not necessarily be your boss. They, they, they could be somebody who is just uh, there to encourage you, to give you feedback, to give you a nudge to get back out, out on the court, uh, or, or sometimes just really kind of uh, uh, let you know, look, sounds like you messed up, but that's okay. It happens to, to the rest of us, to the best of us, right? And, and so that's the kind of community we create on the court. So you not only have access to um, all kinds of leadership material, we've got courses, we've got the you know uh, podcast uh, episodes we've got exclusive material that now I've started sharing just on the court uh, but you can consume those at your own pace uh, we have a, a mobile app that you can use uh, to consume that that stuff the, the the content you can get on your computer at your pace on your own time whenever you want uh, and you have access to a community where you can say hey how about this? And you have a bunch of people who are going to engage with you. Uh, so I know that we've got a, a few people joining us right now. So why don't we go ahead, uh, Nassim, and um, uh, and why don't we have you sort of take us through the experience of what it's like to be to be on the court? Can we do that? Yeah, that sounds good. Fantastic. So let me just share these screens here uh, that. We're gonna, uh, there we go. Let's see if we can get this right over here and share the screen that says on the court. Boom. Okay, so I think. Wonderful. All right, are we ready? Yep, I think so. Okay, great. So we're on the homepage right now, and the homepage kind of functions like a Facebook page, like an activity feed, a lot more exciting than an activity feed, hopefully, but it's very dynamic. Um, so Amir, if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see that when, when we post as hosts or uh, members post, it all shows up here. So that's what you're seeing right now. And Amir, if you want to hop over quickly to the discovery page on the left. Okay, hold on one second. We're having a little bit of a technical difficulty here. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> yeah, so we can do that here, but not somehow uh, the StreamYard uh, piece does not show up. Hold on one second. If you all bear with okay. us, everybody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show the application window and share that window. There we go. So can you see if we can do that? Okay, looks like our... Okay, Let's see if we can do it now. Two fingers. All right, so if you're joining us on StreamYard, uh, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to see that. Uh, so you can actually, uh, if you don't mind, just uh, hang in there with us and we're gonna do this on the, the webinar. So that's unfortunate, but let's go ahead. Technology, right? Yeah. So Amir, if you will head over to that left navigation bar and click discovery, I wanna talk about the discovery page. Okay, in fact, I found a way to, to do this with uh, for the StreamYard people as well. So there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Multitasking. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. What am so I doing right now? The discovery page. Discovery. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. 
So the discovery page is a little bit more static. This is where a lot of our resources live. Um, and that welcome section. So when you're a new member, you scroll back to the top, you'll see that welcome section. Okay. And those will kind of help guide you through, you know, the different steps of becoming a member. And if you go to the success path from here. Okay. Right there. Yeah, great. So we, we have a, a tool, an assessment tool called the success path that'll help you figure out what stage you're at in our membership. And once you figure out what stage you're at, this tool kind of serves as like a roadmap to success on our membership. And it gives you clarity on how to, how to get the most out of your membership. So you'll see we have different stages, rookie, team player, star player, MVP, and legend. And also a little surprise if you are beyond legend on our um, success path, we have a little QR code for you to scan. And I'm going to give you, oh, sorry, hang on one second, guys. Okay, Blue has something to say, but meanwhile, I'm going to actually explain. So if you come in as a rookie, essentially you answer to some of these questions uh, that uh, are on the success path and to see if they're true, you move on to the next stage. But if not, you basically, you know, if it's false, then you say, okay, you know what? I have not really done that. So, so one question, for instance, here is you have a coach and or a mentor that you can rely on for honest, constructive counsel. So if it's true, you move on to the next stage. If it's false, you stay right here. Uh, so that's why we got this rookie and team player and a star player. And by the time you ask these questions, you answer these questions, you determine whether you are coming in as a rookie, a team player, a star player, an MVP, or a, a legend. Exactly. So, Amir, if you X out of this, we're going to go to core content because it's really important to know where you are on the success path. And core content is on the right there in the, yeah, perfect, in the welcome section. Um, once you know what stage you are in on the success path, you want to consume the core content that we've developed for that stage because it's basically the foundational leadership knowledge we want you to have coming in. Um, and, you know, a lot of you guys have a lot of leadership training already. This is mainly Amir's philosophy and it's the mindset piece that'll really get you aligned on where we are in our membership. So we have core content designed. It's designed to take an hour to two hours to complete. And those are e-courses that are exclusive to on the court. And in a mere, in a few minutes, we can show them what they look like. So if you X out of this and just scroll down a little bit, we'll see the featured section. So this featured section is important because every month, like Amir shared earlier, we cover a topic and this, this month's topic is influencing others. Um, all of the posts that have to do with influencing others live here in the featured section. And this featured section also appears in the home page, the dynamic page. So it's easier to find, you know, all of the, all of the content on this one topic. And Amir, if you scroll down just a little bit again, I want to show the upcoming events. So each month we do a live event, uh, a live event or two. And so this is where you would find out if there's a live coming up or a group coaching session. And if you scroll down just a little bit more to topics, I want to talk about the library. So if you click on library, Amir, you'll see that we have hundreds hundreds of leadership posts and articles that Amir has written over the years. Um, there's also a search capability, so you'll be able to find, like if you have a question, of course, ask us the question on the court. We're here to help you find an answer or give input, but there's also so many posts where you might be able to dig a little bit deeper. Um, and also under topics, so if you go back to topics, Amir, yeah. You'll see, this is a little bit different view, but it's, it's still the same. You'll see resources. So if you click resources, we have ebooks, guides, a book study, all kinds of things in here for you to use um, that we have made, we've made accessible at some point or another in various different places online, but they all live here now. So 
That's really awesome. And then I want to go back to topic, Samir. And let's scroll down to the three C's. Perfect. So if you click the three C's, I just want to talk about this for a moment because just like I mentioned earlier, this month's topic is influencing others. And last month's topic was the three C's of success and fulfillment. So if you click that, I just want you to know that when you come in as a new member, you have access to all of our old um, series, like the monthly contents from many months past. They live in the topic section. And as you can see here, all of last month's topic, I mean, all of last month's content lives under this topic. So you will always be able to go back and find um, content from past months. And then if you just hover over the discussion forums in here in the left sidebar, you don't have to click it. Yeah, so the discussion forums are like breakout rooms. So if you're, if you want to talk to your team, let's say you have a team on the court with us, um, we can create a discussion forum for you guys that's private. And we also have discussion forums for anyone who just wants to talk about specific topics and more in depth. Um, so that's a really cool capability that we have. And then lastly, what I want to go over are courses. This is the part that I think I'm really excited about. So if you click courses, like I mentioned before, courses is where um, our core content lives. So each core content stage or each stage has core content course for it. But also we have exclusive um, e-courses that no one has ever seen before in here. So I'm really excited for our members to be able to go through those. Some of them are short, some of them are a little bit longer. And if any of you were part of our book study um, earlier on in the pandemic, it also lives right down here. And that's basically it. I mean, there are a lot of different functionalities. We have a chat capability. We have a um, where you can chat with each other or you can chat with everyone. Um, we have different types of posts, quick post articles, polls, lives. There's just a lot of opportunity for engagement on the court. So we would love it if you guys would join us. Super. Well, thank you so much uh, for, for that, Nassim. And I apologize again to our, the folks who are joining us uh, on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and, and YouTube that we have to kind of do a makeshift uh, thing here. But let me just uh, go ahead and uh, stop sharing screen, the screen here and, and, and see if we have uh, any, any questions that we can answer for you all. Uh, but while we're uh, waiting for, for questions, and I'm going to ask Navid to kind of uh, monitor the, the Q&A, or you feel free to put them in the chat box or Q&A, whatever you, you would like. Um, but one thing that's really important, look, one thing that we've really learned about uh, what makes a, a membership site, uh, you know, viable is that we're not going to inundate you with all kinds of material. Because let's face it, anything that you want to know about is on the internet. Uh, the only problem is there are 5,000, uh, you know, or probably 5 million. If you put in the word culture, you'll probably get 50 million hits. And you're like, ah, I'm drinking from a fire hose. But when you're on the court, there are a couple of ways in which we sort of narrow that down. One is that based on the level that you're coming in, if you are new to leadership, there are certain things you need to know about culture. Maybe you need to know what organizational culture is and what are some of the levers by which we, we kind of change culture and things like that. But, but if you're coming in as an MVP and you've already had a tremendous amount of experience, then there are other things you want to know about it. You want to maybe uh, engage with others who have done things at a higher level so you can learn things. Or you might be a legend. You might say, look, I've already been there, done that. And right now, what I'm thinking about is not just my own immediate organization. I'm thinking about the next chapter for me. Maybe I want to uh, be a consultant. Maybe I want to start a nonprofit. Maybe I want to do something that is uh, contributing to uh, my community outside of my organization. So we have something for you there. And, and that's why I think it's really important uh, instead of just kind of aimlessly looking at some stuff on, on social media, to be in a community where you can have a, a kind of a planned out, uh, you know, a set of, uh, you know, content, if, if you will, 
uh, but also some interaction. So nothing keeps you from putting a, a you know question to the to the community saying, hey, you know what? In fact, we've had this on the court. Hey, you know what? I got on the court last week and I tried to convince my boss of X, Y, and Z, and boy, was that a flop? It didn't work out. And then next thing you know, within minutes, people are responding. Hey, let me tell you about this. This is what happened to me. Uh, have you tried this? And and things like that. So this is where the power of community comes in, in that you're not just drinking from the fire hose, but you get what is appropriate for you at this time. So so let me see, do we have any, any questions at this point? Let us kind of... Uh, um, you know, pause for a moment and see if we have any questions that are coming in at all. I don't believe we have any right now. Okay. While we while we wait on questions, I also wanted to say that, you know, that example that you brought up when somebody said, oh, I had this conversation with my boss and it didn't go very well, that actually prompted this month's um, topic for content. And you were able to do a... Um, alive and get people together and just say, okay, hey, this seems like something that everyone's kind of dealing with. Why don't we talk about it? Yeah, in, in fact, you're right. And just to build on that, here's what we did uh, do. It, it not only triggered this month's uh, series around gathering support and influencing others, we sort of called an impromptu live outside of this series. We said, and, and we, we called it something about how to influence uh, senior leaders. And so we had a bunch of us, we got on the call and we started exchanging ideas. And I've heard, I've seen a lot of really great comments that, come, that came back from that. Now, you know, and again, we're happy to answer any questions you might have, but in the absence of that, I'm just gonna basically try to anticipate what you might be thinking. Let's step back a little bit and say, okay, you know what, if I'm an organization out there, a, small to mid-sized organization. Let's talk about that first. And then we talk, we'll talk about the benefit of this for uh, kind of larger organizations that have their own training and development uh, systems in place. But let's talk about the small to medium-sized organizations. Generally speaking, these are organizations that started out because somebody had passion for a certain kind of technology or they're producing a product or providing a kind of service, but they're not necessarily experts on leadership. And so joining on the court is kind of like taking my 35 years of experience with that and bringing it into your organization. And, and, and the other thing is many of those organizations don't cannot afford the time or the, the kind of money that it takes, quite honestly, to, to, to bring in an expert. So that's where it really for a small fee, and right now we're running this special obviously for the, the founders until midnight tonight, which is like almost giving it away, but we wanted to go ahead and start it off like this so we could build our community. We already have several members uh, with us. We want to go ahead and build the community and, and, and that's why we're offering that low price. Uh, but then for, for larger organizations, there's also something in it for, for you because, uh, in those larger organizations, yes, we have certain methodologies and systems in place, but on the court can supplement that. It, it could also, uh, if you're in a larger organization or actually a, a smaller one, if you join us a, a, as, a, a, as a team, let's just say you have several people from your team that are going to join us, then as Nassim mentioned, we can create a private forum for you. So not only you all are sort of in the community and you get exposure to all of that stuff that's going on and each individual can kind of pull from what they need. But you as a team can talk about how uh, the uh, takeaways from uh, people's learning experience can be applied to your workplace. And, and you know, I get to interact with, with you as a, as a team uh, in, a, in a private setting where other people cannot see what, what you're talking about. And so there are all kinds of benefits relative to that. Uh, the, the other uh, category of uh, folks that I will talk about are entrepreneurs. Maybe you're a, a solopreneur, maybe you're an entrepreneur with just two or three people, just like us, and you're kind of learning through the school of hard knocks, right? So for, for those folks, we have a ton of uh, content that 
is, you know, yeah, it's related to real leadership, but it really is related to how you can, you can build your business. You can, you know, there are a lot of things that we've learned. We've uh, grown very quickly as the Ganad group. And there are, there's a lot that we can share with you, whether it's you want to write a book or you want to start your own consulting practice, or you want to do, uh, uh, you know, better at expanding your business. There, there, there's something in it for you as well. Um, and, and so we've really tried to make sure that we are focused on leadership and culture transformation. But at the same time, we also realize that when you get to the MVP and uh, legend levels, then you may have other um, interests, if, if you will. So we have catered to that as well. Uh, so these are just uh, so, some of the, the benefits. And what I see, I, I have for the last, um, I guess, six years or so actively, five or six years, um, just before we started this business, I've really started putting a lot of content out on social media. We're producing um, two podcast episodes every week right now. Uh, we've got 200 something blog posts out there, you know, several videos and all of this. And what I'm really excited about now and, and what I'm kind of beginning to divert my uh, focus toward is that instead of just kind of throwing some things out there and hoping that somebody will, will grab it, I have a lot more intentional relationship with the members on the court. So depending on what discussion forum they're, they're signing up for, they may be in a different, in a specific kind of situation where they're just starting a job, or they're they're looking for a job, or they're uh, looking to improve a certain aspect of their skill. So depending on what their interest is, I can have a very intentional conversation uh, with them. I can give them some content, and I can get some feedback. So yes, I've got on on LinkedIn, I don't know, 5,700 people that I really value, and I'm going to continue to serve. But this relationship is going to be a little bit different. It's already very different in that there's a, a bit more close relationship where I know what you're looking for and I get some feedback from you and, and that sort of thing. Uh, so, so again, uh, the, uh, that's basically what, what I wanted to kind of talk about, about on the court. And want to see if there are any questions that, that we have, and I'm happy to speak to those. Otherwise, I mean, I could probably talk all day about uh, on the court, uh, but but let me pause here for a moment. I see some folks on, uh, on the line here. Jameson, thank you for joining us. Peter, thank you. There's a phone number I don't recognize, but uh, it's probably in my phone book somewhere. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, so if there are any specific questions that you have, please do let us know, and, and we're happy to to work through those. All right, let's see. Let's see if, uh, Fias has asked the question. Uh, yeah, so um, thank you so much, Fias. Thanks for joining us. Uh, and Fias is asking, are you able to join month to month? Yes, that option will always be available um, and there will always be uh, just a discount of a couple of months if you join uh, for the year. Uh, so right now, the special that we're running for our founding members until midnight uh, Eastern time uh, tonight is uh, $49.99 per month. And you can basically join us and cancel anytime you want. Or you can join us for an annual kind of agreement, a membership for $499.99. Uh, so thank you so much, Fias, for asking that question. Yeah. And, and so those options are available. We will always have uh, options uh, that, that are monthly or annually. The numbers are going to change significantly because this time right now we've done basically no advertising. Uh, we've only made this offer available to anybody who is in my network, whether it's on LinkedIn or Facebook or um, on our mailing list, uh, somehow, you know, all the folks who have attended my sessions and that sort of thing. So we wanted to make this offer available to, to those folks, but after, after tonight, then the price is going to, is going to go up. All right. So 
you know, at, at this time, the only other, uh, the, you know, the thing that comes to mind is that, you know, right now we have on the court with us several members uh, who have worked with me in the past. And, uh, you know, we've started really having conversations that build on some of the, the, the teaching that they've been exposed to. And we also have some members who basically don't know anything about uh, our content. And, and so whether you fall into one category or another, it doesn't matter. You come in and we welcome you into the community and you get exposure to all of this, uh, you know, content uh, for the duration of the time that, that you uh, choose to stay with us. Uh, the, the one other thing that I will mention is Nassim mentioned this as well, but I want to underscore this is that our members, especially our founding members right now over the course of next uh, month or so, uh, get to have a lot of say uh, in how we set things up. We're still kind of evolving every day. We're thinking of ways to make this better, uh, but certainly everybody always has some input as to what it is that they want. So I, I may pose a question this morning. I posted a poll on uh, on the court uh, to say, okay, so for this upcoming live session that we have on Wednesday, what, what is the specific topic you would prefer to spend a little bit more time on? And I gave them four options and I left the option open for them to comment. So you get to shape what it is that you want to uh, get more of in terms of content. Uh, so, so that's basically what we've got going on uh, on the court, and we're extremely excited about it. Uh, several uh, clients uh, are now; some have already signed up their their group, their team members, uh, and and they're with us. And there are several who have emailed me basically last night. Uh, I think they kind of wanted to wait until last minute. So they, they emailed me last night and said, hey, how about this? How about that? So we're kind of in conversations today. So I know that we're going to have several groups of people from several teams from the same um, company that are going to join us. Now, um, so let's see if... if um, I'm kind of looking at a little cheat sheet here uh, to make sure that I, I wanted to kind of cover certain things for with you guys. I think I've covered those, but Navid, perhaps you can you can uh, tell me if there's anything else that or Nassim uh, that we should talk about. I feel like you've covered it all. I think just to sum it all up, like we're on the court to serve you guys, and so. Um, and to serve our members. So whatever we feel the need is and, and that's informed by our members, we, we are happy to pivot and go that way. And it's actually really exciting for us because we want to help our community as much as we can. So being able to have this input and pivot our content to meet people where they are, what they need is like really exciting for us. So we do hope that you join us or encourage your friends or colleagues or family to join us if you feel like it might be a good fit. Um, but yeah, I think Amir, you've, you've covered it. And tonight is the end of our founders launch. And um, we're really excited to have our founding members with us after some beta testing that we did prior to it. So we, we just look forward to seeing the community continue to grow. Yeah, and, and just a couple of other uh, points that I uh, just thought about uh, is uh, that there is basically, I wanted to cover, so what we, we've referred to group coaching calls uh, and uh, live sessions. These are sessions where I get together with anybody who uh, signs up for that or chooses to, to join us. And basically, we get to coach each other. I certainly provide a lot of coaching, but I've seen other people coach each other as well. So while these are not one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, there, there's a lot of coaching that comes out of those sessions. And, and especially if somebody sends me a, a message through the uh, platform and says, look, I really want to learn more about X, Y, and Z, I'm always making sure that I incorporate that into what we're, we're getting ready to talk about, whether cre creating a new piece of content or embedding that kind of conversation into the uh, uh, the live sessions that we have. 
Uh, the other thing I wanted to let you know is we uh, are offering a two week trial period. Essentially, you can, if you're on the fence, you got nothing to lose. It's a, it's a risk free kind of thing to join us and, and check it out. Um, honestly, for me personally, I'm not a big fan of trial periods because I think they kind of cause uh, people sometimes to be sort of 50 50 committed, if you will. They're like, oh, let me sign up, but then I'm not going to really. Uh, do a lot with it. And then at the end of two weeks, I might say, well, okay, it's not really all that great for me. But we're taking a chance with that and saying, look, uh, it could be that some people are really, really engaged and they want to get involved, but they just want to really kind of take it for a spin. And so for that, uh, for that reason, we have created uh, this opportunity for you to join us uh, for two weeks, no risks, no questions asked if you want to uh, drop out and we're hoping that we and we know we are intentional about making sure that uh, your uh, experience is so awesome that that you're going to stay with us uh, so we have that available as well uh, and and you know some of you know my my story of you know several different turnarounds that I've been involved in and and honestly if I step back and say okay why on the court I think about when I was uh, a young manager, when I first started uh, in, my, in my career, I really believe that if somebody were to coach me, like the kinds of things that we're offering on, on the court, if somebody, if I had the benefit of that kind of coaching, it would have saved me probably 10 years of uh, just frustration and, uh, you know, not being able to figure things out. So, so there's a lot here for people who really are aspiring leaders who haven't had a lot of experience. Um, and But fast forward, about 19 years into my career, uh, I had a good bit of success, and, and still I ran into the greatest challenge of my career in that I was the plant manager of a plant that was not doing very well in fact, it was the worst plan in the company in terms of results and morale. And even then, it was just like I was driving in the fog, trying to figure things out one little step at a time. And it all worked out for us. But man, I can see that if I had a coach, if I had somebody who had been there and done that and who could coach me, that I would do so much better. So, so with those experiences in mind ranging from a brand new person and how helpful it would be to them to kind of get some coaching and, and advice all the way to seasoned people who need somebody to help them think through what they need to do, what strategies they need to uh, employ to, to make things happen. We have designed on the court with that in mind. And we already, by the way, have uh, you know people from uh, different parts of the world uh, uh, on this uh, platform. So I'm really excited that we're going to have an international community who shares you know who shares certain values and and intentions, but at the same time uh, they bring a good bit of diversity of of thought as well. So. Um, Again, I, I don't want to belabor the point. I, I would uh, love for you to uh, go to onthecourtleadership.com and don't delay and go ahead and join us. And of course, that's what we want. Uh, but we also know that may not be, you may not be ready for that and we respect that. Uh, but if you are ready and you've been thinking about, yeah, we want to do something with leadership, but we don't have the time, we don't have the money, we don't uh, know where to start, whatever that is, there's no time like the present to go ahead and get started. So on the court uh, and all it takes is a couple of clicks and you can join us on the court and see what it's all about. Um, so we're very excited and we would be honored to have you join us on this journey. And we would love to partner with you on your transformative journey. Uh, so I'm going to pause just for, for another moment and see if we have any other questions. And if not, we are going to go ahead and uh, and conclude this this call. All right, going once. On going. Zoom. I'm sorry. We have uh, no questions on Zoom. Yeah, I see. Okay, very good. Well, thank you again for joining us, uh, Fiaz, uh, Jameson. I know you guys have joined us here. Fiaz has joined on 
on uh, LinkedIn. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you all on the court. All right, thanks.